Let us jump on to the next tutorial of Team City where we will be seeing how to schedule jobs on Team City. So we have ran our robot framework test cases through Team City job. Now I will jump into configuration triggers. Now here in the triggers we can add a trigger to schedule our job. So click on this button and in the drop down you will find schedule trigger that is the first option. Just click on it and then here inside in the triggering conditions you have one condition which is when you want to schedule that is daily so by default this pops in and it, it asks you at what time you want to schedule your job so you can select the time for example if i want to run my job at 17 or maybe whatever time for example 18 and currently it is 18 12 let's say i want to run the job at 18 15 just after three minutes so I will set that time and I will save the job. So it will automatically trigger at that particular time. Now here also we can see there is a checkbox below this which says trigger only if there are changes pending. Now if your VCS or your version control is having any updated code only then it would be triggered. If it is not having any updated code it won't be. If you uncheck it, it will all, always be triggering a new job at that particular interval. Now, in the advanced options, we have another option where we can set the rules. We'll be talking about these rules later on where we can change the triggering logic based on certain conditions. And in the additional options, you also have an option to delete all the files from the checkout directory before the build is done. Right, so this is all about scheduling a job at a particular time. Now let us wait for that time. It is 18.14 at the moment. I go to the build history page and let's see if the build automatically triggers at 18.15 or not. So we are on to the build queue and the last job which ran was, it was job number 3. And we should have another build just after few seconds. So it is already 1815 that means the job should have already triggered we can either refresh or let the page to automatically refresh to see whether the build has been successful or failed so i refresh the page and go to build history again and here on this page we can see that there is a build 4 present which ran a minute ago so if we go to the build logs we can see here that the build was successful and that was triggered at 1815 and this is our test case or test suite that we ran through team city job here in the artifacts we again have that log.html and report.html which have detailed summary of our test cases that is how we can schedule a job at a particular interval now we also have two more options to schedule a job on team city let us explore it we were onto this screen when we were scheduling a job where we have selected daily from there to schedule a job at a particular interval. If we go to that drop down and we select here cron job that means we can schedule at a particular interval maybe in a day also. So you go to advanced and cron expression. And now you have flexibility to run your job at a particular second, minute or hour or a particular day or month or a year. All you need to do is you need to have an expression here which would be helping it to run and to have this expression handy what you can do is you just go to this help section, scroll down a bit. It has a chronomaker which helps you in creating those expressions. Now let's say you want to have a job handy which would run after every minute. So all you need to do is you just need to select from there and click on generate button. It will generate an expression for you and it will also tell you the schedule dates or time at which this job would be triggered. So it will give you five next options. Now all you need to do is you just need to match that expression and put it here and it will let your job run after every minute so just make it same and here if you select trigger only if the there are pending changes it won't be triggered until there is a fresh code on git 
otherwise you can uncheck the option and now this job would automatically run after every minute let's see what happens as of now we have seven builds already let us wait for the next minute and see whether that build triggers or not so we can refresh the page to see whether we have the eight build so we already have it running and I again refresh to see what happens now so the eight bell was successful and we should have another bell just after one minute so this is how we schedule jobs at a particular interval these are basically like cron expressions and you are scheduling cron jobs so you can see again that at the very next minute we have the ninth bell running so this way we have our belts running after every minute and to stop it uh, what I can do is I can click on this check option where it won't be triggering unless we have a fresh card on git now similarly if you want to schedule your jobs on hourly basis on daily basis on a particular day of a week on a particular month or a particular day of a particular month or maybe a year you can try all these possible options and generate an expression corresponding to that and then use that expression in the team city job to let it run at that particular time i hope this part is clear to you and now you are comfortable in scheduling a job at a particular time or maybe through a cron expression there is also a third option which i would walk you through here when we were scheduling the job from the first panel we had three options there first was daily second was advanced cron expression and there was another third one which we'll see now you can also schedule this weekly job using cron expression but if you want to have this panel here handy you have limited set of options here you need not have a cron maker to set this particular job so this way you can schedule your jobs on the daily basis on weekly basis or maybe through cron expression if you have any questions in scheduling your jobs do write to me in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to see more such content. Thank you.